The word spelling and spell not only relates to writing letters out to form words. A magic spell and spelling with magic was the original purpose of words according to Tehuti, Thoth. To spell is to cast magic energy with a definite purpose. Write and writing is significant as well, for it contains the word write, R-I-T-E, as in ceremony or ritual. This word is usually related to secret traditions utilized to assist one in living magically. Also, the word write is the same sound as right, R-I-G-H-T. Right angles are 90 degrees, a square. This 90, or number 9, speaking in numerology, is found in all sacred geometric angles in some form or another. The word, word itself, has two other phonetic relatives in this conversation, world and world. The word makes the world. The world or spiral is the common natural geometry of the world as observed in the golden mean, Fibonacci sequence, celestial movements and the spiraling galactic patterns. Word also is similar to the word wood. A log is a bulky mass of wood. And logos means word in Greek. In the Bible, book of John, it says, In the beginning was the Word, or Lagos. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. The word Lodge, as in Masonic Lodge, comes from the word Lagos. This is the only place the magic secret word can be uttered. Considering Jesus, who was called the Word of God, was said to be a carpenter who splits wood, may be relevant to this view as well. A letter is like a streamer or acceptance or one who lets or accepts and allows. Letter says surrender and let her, letting the infinite intelligence flow. Letters form words or worlds with whirling chakric energy. Letter is made up of let, allow, and ter, earth, or terra. A period is like the bindu, or red dot. Another red substance that dots is called period, the menses. This dot also forms the point in the circle that represents ra in the Egyptian cosmology. Interestingly, the pronunciation is period, yud, or yod, being the name of the smallest Hebrew letter, which is the first letter of the name Jah or Yahweh and Yehoshua. In light of considering the period which stops or stills a sentence, one is reminded of the biblical injunction, be still and know I am Yah. The word grammar can be found in Tetragrammaton, the magical Kabbalistic formula the etymology of grammar is very interesting. The old French form is grammari or grammar. Not only is one of the various forms of the word more found in this name, but the original definition meant learning incantations, spells, and magic. In Middle English, grammar was known as occult knowledge. The word para means supreme in Sanskrit. Graph means to write, chart, or plot. A paragraph is essentially smaller ideas that form one bigger supreme idea with an intention of charting a point of reference in the holographic universe. Compose is to write something in whole. And to be composed is to feel and express from one's whole being with the serene, easy attitude which is a major bonus to working magic. So-called bad words and profanity are called cursing or curse words, once again relating the language arts vocabulary to words used in the magic traditions. A curse 
is a magic utterance consigning an object to evil. Cursive writing sprung from this. Pen and pencil come from pan and pentacle. Pan and pen can mean one, all or five. And pentacles and pentagrams are magic tools used while spelling. Pen also meant feather. Pluma is a Spanish word for a pen and feather. Ma'at, Tahuti's consort, has a feather as her symbol. The words script and scribe come from scarab, the dung beetle in Egypt. The scarab or kepera, kepri as it was called in Egypt, is used to represent Ra. It means who brings into being. <clears throat> the scarab is also shaped like the human brain. In human terms, Ra is each person's ability to create. We are always Ra, and we are always creating. Egyptian texts say the created world came from out of the mouth of Ra. The mouth is the symbol for one or unity in hieroglyphics. This is connected with Tehuti as well, who was mentioned earlier. Tehuti is the power of sound or word. Tehuti was said to utter Ra's words to create the world. Tehuti and his lady Maat, in her form as Seshat, the lady of the occult mysteries, are known as the lords of the scribes, relating back to where we started this point, Scarab being related to scribe. Even the letters of Tehuti's name, in the Greek pronunciation, seem to relate this secret code of squaring the circle. T-H-O-T-H, an alternative form of Tehuti, is made of squares in the form of the T-square and H-square, two different tools of master masons. And the O, or circle, <clears throat> or 360, Tehuti is known as master of the city of Ogdad, 8, in Kmunu, Hermopolis. All letter geometries are formed through an eight-point star superimposed on a squared circle. The Egyptian mathematical principle of squaring the circle not only was used to develop all alphabetical systems, it was also used in conjunction with mantra incantations as an equation to build the pyramids. Referring back to the number 9 or numerology of all angles in sacred geometry, 72 degrees, 108 degrees, 36 degrees, 90 degrees, 360 degrees, 180 degrees, etc., that we brought up in relation to the word writing and right angles, is important when discussing squaring the circle. As was mentioned moments ago, Tehuti is master of the city of eight, and he is associated with the number eight. In the squaring the circle equation, nine cubits always represented the diameter of the circle and eight cubits the sides of the square. Nine represents the Necheru, nine gods who are one as Ra, or the circular sun disk animating all creation with spirit, soul, or force. And eight represents the manifested world as we experience it. The eight-nine ratio is considered a perfect tone in Kemet, Egypt, and used extensively in many temples and pyramid architecture. Words, whether verbal or internal are magically creating our personal worlds and our shared world. We are thankful to bring more awareness to our language and to be able to use it more purposefully and deliberately. Mehu Sia Heka, the Egyptian trinity of word, sound, power, be ever guiding our magical utterances. Amen.